everyone, Anne Bandy from Said With Love and just today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about cutting the, your fabric for the avenue pattern with the templates. Now I bought the pattern that came with the templates just because I wanted to make my life a little easier but there are paper templates in um, just the, the, the pattern by itself that you can copy onto Templastic um, or even just use you know, the, the paper templates themselves. I just found that when it came to cutting out, I wanted to, to cut out all my blocks um, on my scrappy background fabric as well as my tree fabric using my rotary cutter and the acrylic templates just make that easy. So the things that you'll need to, to work with the acrylic templates is obviously the pattern because you need the pattern and the templates. Your tree fabric and I've chosen Winky Pop by Jan Kingwell and I'm just using three charm packs which should give me enough fabric hopefully. I've got a rotary cutter of two different sizes. This is my normal rotary cutter that I use all the time, 45 the size 45 and this is a teeny tiny little rotary cutter which just helps me with some of the smaller things um, and I've also just got a, a little mechanical pencil that's just got a nice fine fine lead in it as well okay so let's get started so the first thing I'm going to do is open up my charm pack and I'll show you. Now I'm trying to maximize the use of my fabric because I want to use some, some of the extra little bits in the scrappy uh, border later on. So I'm going to come down as close as possible to one edge. And I'm just going to use my normal rotary cutter for this one. Do those little edge bits, nice straight line, just a tiny little bit on that corner, just enough to to get me off with that fabric and then I will just do now normally if I didn't have a video in the road I would actually move myself around a little bit further rather than trying to uh, cut things off um, backhanded but um, that gets me one of my blocks so nice and easy using that rotary um, the rotary cutter with that one and uh, then we're going to Grab another one for my tree and I'm going to be using this beautiful template. I might again try and come down right near this edge so that I can, and I'm just going to use my normal rotary cutter at this point because it's an outside curve. So that one's nice and easy. Just take it slow and you'll be able to get around to that one again nice and easily. Excuse me while I just... And so there's my nice curved piece. So they're nice and easy. Um, the triangle piece, again, nice and simple to use that one. And if you're not using any directional fabrics, you can double up your fabrics a little bit and cut through a few at a time, which is what I'm going to do. Ooh, that was harder than I thought going backwards. <laughs> As I said, I wouldn't normally do this if I didn't have a video camera in the way. But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. So yes, don't try this at home. Isn't that the same? <laughs> I'm just going to get that last little bit off. And I will turn it around. Because I took the little snip edge off so it's nice and easy to line that back up again. Little snip edge off. And there we go, we've got lots of nice triangles cut as well. So all of those really easy to use with your normal rotary cutter, you're fine. When it comes to this inner curve though, it becomes quite a bit more difficult. Impossible to do with one of these, this size, all you'll do is nick your rotary cutter and that blade will be useless. So I have actually moved to using this much smaller blade, but I have still found that doing this inside curve is even too small for this. So what I ended up doing, let me just grab some more fabric, another bit of scrappy. What I ended up doing with this one was using my smaller one and I cut around all the edges, but for the inside curve, 
I use my mechanical pencil and because it's going to be on the very edge of a seam line, it doesn't matter whether you're using a pencil or a pen or something that will disappear. Um, let me just get this one open. So let me just, oops, cut those out a bit. Excuse me while I come around this side. So I've cut those out a bit. I'm just going to move it a little bit so that it's a bit easier. But because I've done that in a line, I can line it up nice and easily. I can cut the end and those other little bits as well. And even that end one there. And then all I need to do is grab a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut that last inside curve. I'm not going to nick my rotary cutter and um, I'm going to save myself having to change a rotary blade because boy I hate doing that. So a little bit of scissor work which you know as cool as we don't usually do very often but um, there we go and there's our nice little little bit with our inner curve using that template. So that is some tips on how to use the acrylic templates for your the avenue pattern.